Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I have some sad news for you. Joker, Feliz Navidad, has failed at the box office. I know, I could have, could have possibly seen this coming. A sequel to the original film that's now told through the stylings of music with a budget three times that of the original. Hard to see how it could have failed, right? Actually, the cost might have been four times as much. The original was only $55 million to make. This one was almost $200 million, if I do the math. 5, 10, 15, 20. yeah, four times the budget. Powerful stuff. I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about it because I truly have nothing else to talk about. Let's begin. The numbers are out, fam, and they're not good. The first weekend at the box office is critical for the success of a film. Joker 1, for instance, made about $39 million in its opening night. That's just on a Friday. Joker, Axel Folia, do, only made $37 million in a three-day weekend. Actually, you might even consider Thursday night sales, since movies come out Thursdays now, for some reason. These numbers are brutal when you consider the fact that the budget's $200 million, and in order to even break even, they need to double that and some. You need $400 million in earnings in order to just hit that baseline. Warner Brothers was expecting about $60 million opening weekend, then it dropped to fifty. then they were thinking forty, and here we sit at around $37 million, with a full-blown domestic and international gross of around $120 million. But folks, $120 million? That doesn't seem like anything too bad. When your budget's $55 million, you're already sitting pretty. Everything else is going to be profit. But they haven't reached $200 million yet. The cost to make this thing... And the audience dips by about 60-65% interest the next week. So they're going to have a hard time getting to even 200. My prediction is it sits somewhere around 280 by the time it's all over. So an absolute failure from front to bottom. Not just box office wise, but a failure all across the board. Joker Hot Shots Part 2 has a D rating via CinemaScore. The original Joker had a B plus. And just as a side, CinemaScore is very favorable to films. D is atrociously bad. That means the majority of moviegoers hate this film. With movies coming home faster than ever before, typically films hit streaming platforms like a month on average after they're going to the theaters, Joker 2 Foley 2 Furious is going to have zero legs at the box office. I've already given my thoughts on the film via a review and a spoiler rant. Uh, I'm not a fan. We'll just leave it at that. But this is just brutal. I remember, it's been a while, when Warner Brothers fired on all cylinders. It was kind of pre-DCEU bullshit when they really made good movies and franchises. And now it seems like it's miss after miss after miss. They rarely get a win anymore. And it's because of stupid decisions like this. The first Joker made over a billion dollars at the box office. It is one of the highest grossing R-rated comic book films of all time. I think it's just below Deadpool and Wolverine. So for the second movie to not only fail in the eyes of the audiences, but also financially drop the ball so hard. This thing's not even going to get halfway to a billion dollars in its run. How sad. I think it's probably fair to say we won't be seeing a Joker 3. Uh, I know Todd Phillips, the writer and director, he's done with the DC. He made that very clear. I think he was done before he made the second movie. But if you were a fan of this film, you might be bummed to hear that it's doing so poorly because there is no route now where we can go forward with a possible third. No, this Joker filet of fish is cooked. Of course, there's going to be plenty of YouTube movie critic analysts out there, experts that will say exactly why this movie failed. They'll give you their reasons, they'll list them off in an easy-to-follow format. I see no reason to. I'm pretty sure every audience member knows exactly why it failed. By once again focusing on Arthur Fleck's mental instabilities, by doing the musical thing, by alienating your fan base, yeah, it's not hard to figure out why this thing flopped. The last time I remember a movie sequel bombing this hard was The Marvels. Not because it didn't generate money, I mean it lost money, but because the original Captain Marvel did over a billion dollars as well. So just the drop between these two movies, it's a roller coaster that only goes down. In fact, the worldwide box office for The Marvels was $206 million. That's off a $270 million budget, so that thing completely crashed and burned to the floor. The Joker might hit its initial budget, but again, you have to multiply for marketing and other expenses. Has to double to even start to see the light of day. 
This thing right now is trending at Madam Web levels. It's trending at Morbius levels. It's sitting on the same stage as Morbi shit. That's just embarrassing. I think I've milked this video long enough. I want to hear from you though. What are your thoughts on this? Did you see it coming? I think most of us did when they announced the budget, what it was going to be about, etc, etc. Think about subscribing if you haven't. I post movie commentary, reviews, roasts, some occasionally live streams every week. Would love to have you stick around. If you love what I'm doing and you have for a while, maybe think about becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. It's the best way to support the channel. All right, I'm gonna leave it with that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I see you next time.